Have you ever had a CDF, a cumulative distribution function chart, that you'd like to dissect? So for example, in this particular chart, <clears throat> what we've done is taken a normal distribution, we've actually multiplied by a factor of 0 40% of the time, 0.5 35% of the time, and 1 25% of the time. But what I'd really like to know is what is the distribution of that which is not this vertical line? So let me show you how to do that really easily in um, SIP math. Uh, this would also apply to, let's say, an oil and gas project where you've got a low, mid, and high price, and you'd like to see the results of that evaluation at those three price decks. So here is the distribution of this orange curve. So what I'm going to do. <clears throat> is going to say um, acquire only, okay? I'm going to say this is equal to this number, excuse me, say equals if this number is equal to zero, then I'm just going to put a zero. Otherwise, I'm going to pick on this number. Bear with me. You'll see how this is going to work. And now I'm going to define this uh, as acquire only. And then I'm going to generate a graph, a cumulative graph here. And then I'm going to come back to this. And it's really important that you generate the CDF first. Then I'm going to come back to this particular formula and replace that zero that I put in with a non-numeric uh, character. So in this case, I'm going to put in a underscore. And there is the distribution of when I acquire this asset. So it only represents this orange per part here and this orange part here. This part has been taken out of the distribution. It has a value of 2.1 rather than 1.3. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you.